Good morning. Heather and I are at uh, Epcot this morning, and we're here to try some of the um, the food or for the festival of the holidays. Uh, I've got my eye on a couple of things. How about you? Definitely. There's a lot of different stuff to try this year. Mm -hmm. So the crowd levels are are kind of high. It's Sunday. It's the weekend, so we do expect to wait in some lines if we want to ride anything. But we're mostly here to try some snacks and just enjoy the Christmas decorations and Christmas music. So come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we got the festival favorites. Consists of blackened bass, white cheddar grits, and okra with tomato and onion stew. Duck confit with dumplings. Yeah, that's what I want. And gingerbread cookie. So one of the cookies from the cookie trails here. Oh, they're not like eggnog. The frozen s'mores is okay, also. Frost. I'm not sure what that is. We got a charcuterie and cheese plate. It's pretty good. Holiday hearth. There's gonna be some good stuff here too. A red velvet mini bundt cake. I definitely want some of that. Salted caramel spaceship earth cookie. That's one of the cookies on the. I don't know, actually meant that might not be one of the cookie stroke cookies. I'm not sure. Snowball cookies, peppermint bark. That's always good. Holiday fruit cake. Mouse crunch. Interesting. Some pictures of it. Oh, that mouse crunch looks good. Oh yeah, that salted caramel spaceship or cookie looks really good. That's all sweet stuff there. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, next guest. So we're here at the festival building at Epcot, and I've got the duck confit. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I want to give it a try. The duck confit for eight dollars. It's a big piece of meat for eight dollars. It is. So good. Chewy. Tastes a lot like chicken. Came with potatoes. One of these. Oh, that's good too. Want a bite? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Okay, you find this. Yep. Mm. Good. Chewy, ain't it? Very chewy. Come back in about five minutes. <laughs> I really like the sauce. I'm gonna pick it up by the bone and eat it. It's crispy too. It does have a lot of chicken to me. I mean, more than anything else. More than anything else I know how to describe. Whatever sauce they have on this thing is so good. Well, it's more of a gravy, I think. Yeah, a gravy. I would get this again. Eat some more. Was your Brussels sprouts good? Brussels sprouts good. Potato is better. The only thing I don't really care about it is the fact that it's tough meat. Yeah, yeah, pretty tough. So you can't take too big of a bite like I did while ago. It's tender like it falls off the bone well, but just the meat itself is, I mean, that's the way duck is apparently. Okay, Brussels sprout. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. Never mind, I'm going to have rest. It's like cabbage. 
Yeah, that's kind of what they, they're like little tiny kind cavities is what I think. I believe that'll do it. Very good. I will get it again. Find something else to eat. Yes. Get a head or something to eat this time. Okay, so we're here at the Yukon Holiday Kitchen. So what are you getting here again? The maple yule logs. Maple yule logs, sounds good. Okay, so we just got some food at the Yukon Holiday Kitchen. Heather got the maple yule log. That's not what it's called in the menu, but that's how we're that's saying how, it because yeah. it was some weird, crazy words on there. But it's a maple yule log and it's huge for like, what was it, $8? No, it no, wasn't that much. No, it was like five something. Okay, I and I got the beef bourgeon I think that's how you pronounce it, but it was five seventy-five. And it looks really good. I guess it's like a stew beef with mashed potatoes and carrots and some gravy. Pretty good. That's good. It's like a raspberry filling as well. Oh. And it's chocolate. It looks good. Marshmallow fluff on top. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. So we got it. We got a. Uh, I'm gonna call it stew beef. Stew beef? Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. It's about what it is. Here we go. Oh, it's really good. Really, really good. Very hearty. Would you get it again? Huh? Is it good enough to get again? Oh, yeah, I would definitely get it again. I'm gonna finish my beat before I have dessert. Oh, you gotta try this, right? Yeah, I gotta try that. Mmm, taste and gravy is really good. It's got mushrooms in it, too. You get this Yule log a try. Yeah. Oh, that is good. Yeah. Gingerbread and raspberry go good together. Who'd have thunk it? The yule log fell apart. Look at all the pretty colors. That's a very good dessert. I highly recommend this. Here it comes. There's something growing out of the bottom of your camera. <laughs> it's weird. I hope it's all right. All that French bread. Santa Claus. Tater, yeah. you been a good girl? Of course. <laughs> We need to put him in Santa Claus hat. where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, 
making it the most popular fruit in the world. Account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Okay, here's the Las Posadas, uh, the Mexico Holiday Kitchen. Anything on there you want to try? Giant tostada de chorizo, tamal de pollo, dulce de leche churros. Um, I think I'll pass on that. I think I'll pass on that one too. There's other stuff that I want more. Yeah. So we got a holiday guidebook and we've already looked through it and pretty much decided what we want to get heading into Kringla Bakery Og Cafe or what I like to call the Norway Bakery and they've got school bread everybody's favorite time to give our school bread time yeah see if we got a little Olaf on the top Made of chocolate. I think so. White chocolate. Yeah, white chocolate. You can have that. All yours. You gonna eat like a donut? I guess so. That's about all you can do. Got nothing but coconut in that bite. Just, oh yeah, I forgot there's coconut on it. So you probably didn't care for that bite too much, then, did you? You probably didn't like that bite too much, then, did you? I like the cream on this. No. Oh. A lot more. But, yeah. You want to try? Sure. Maybe you can eat it to the cream. Eat and to then the cream. I'll take over. And then I'll take over. Give me the dirty work. Good, but how am I gonna bite it without my nose getting all up in that? <laughs> it's a little bit big. Yeah. Like, it's hard to bite. We about need a fork. You got it. I got napkins. Mm. It got pudding in it. Very good. You gonna eat what? Yeah, let's go ahead and eat that off the top. Before somebody's nose gets filled with cream. I don't want a cream filled nose. That way you get more of it in the bite. Exactly. Just so you know how crowded it is today, the line for Frozen Ever After literally stretches to China.
pretty crowded. Yeah, definitely. Even though what we've rode so far, the wait times have no not been anywhere near as long as what they said. Yeah, basically they've, they've been walk on what we've rode so far. Yeah. But I'm willing to bet that frozen ever after, if it's 60 minutes or however long it says it is, it probably is. Yeah, that was pretty accurate. So now we're here at the uh, Bavarian Holiday Kitchen for our next stop. And we're gonna get the cheese fondue. So it's a bread bowl filled with cheese and it comes with some vegetables. It's gonna be good. Oh, we're also gonna get the, um, one of the cookies on the cookie trail. We're gonna go ahead and start that. Linzer cookie. Linzer cookie, that's how you, what do you call it? I guess that's how you pronounce it. So it's got some, like a raspberry filling and a powdered sugar topping, I think. Cheese fondue in a bread bowl with steamed baby vegetables and marbled potatoes. And yes, the Linzer cookie as well. Okay, so we're going to try the cheese fondue. Yep, it's got some carrots, uh, zucchini, uh, I guess, like a little zucchini, zucchini. Yeah. and some potatoes. I'm trying to get it. We got a cookie for dessert. Yeah. What kind of cheese? Why? I'm not sure. Maybe different kinds of milk together. Whatever it is, it's really good. Here you go. Let's go after pretty, that carrot. Pretty warm today. Can I get a Yeah, I think we can eat all that. Oh, uh, I love it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to bread. Um, just look okay. Really? Yeah. I love it. You just love cheese. Mm, I do. It's like a really, especially a really, really thick cream, uh, really thick cheese soup. Some There's only one of them. Thank you for your cooperation. He's better. He's better than the carrot was. What do you think? That was really good. Yeah, that was good. Okay. I wish there was another one. Potato time. It's tater time. Oh, that's better too. Yeah. Like okay, so now I know that cheese and carrots don't go together. <laughs> That was weird. I like it. The taste was good though. I guess it just depends on what you like. Yeah. I mean, I like carrots and like cheese, but not together. What do you do with it when, yeah, just, when you finish all the bread? Just pick it up and eat cheesy bread? That's good. I guess I didn't eat the spoon after all. Yeah. All that's left now is a bread bowl. Yeah. See how hard this is to eat. It's covered in cheese on the bottom. You like hot dogs? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> so it looks like it's two cookies, and there's a the raspberry fillings inside, right? Mm-hmm. Linzer cookie. I guess it's a sugar cookie, powdered sugar topping, and a raspberry filling. Powdery. The cookie's kind of dry. Oh, really? Yeah. But the, the raspberry filling helps out with that. Oh, so it's like it's going to fall apart so that we can pick it up. You're covered in powdered sugar. Oh no, it's falling apart. That's really good. Yep, it's good. It's 
think it, it would go very well with um, milk. some milk for sure. Yep. It's a good start. Yeah, that's actually a very big cookie for two dollars and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I'd get both these things again. Yeah, well, I wouldn't get the fondue again. It was good, but not good enough I would have spent $8 on it. It's about time for a coffee break, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll recharge yep. and get back to work. Thank you. 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 you too. All right, let's go drink some coffee and listen to the mariachi band. Let's break the piñata! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays. And a great time here at the Taste of Epcot International Festival of Holidays. Now we have one more song to go. We haven't done it yet, and I think you know which one it is. So please dance along and clap along to Feliz Navidad. I have dinner planned tonight at um, Chef de France. We're gonna get one more item. And we're here at the holiday kitchen at the American Pavilion. And we're gonna get the something pot pie. It's holiday pot pie. There's the sun. But we do have one more Epcot day this week too. So whatever we didn't get today, we'll try um, our next day here. I'm starting to get full, and I don't want to be too full for supper. Yeah, and supper's at 7.30. It's about 3.30 now, so... I have plenty to eat for lunch, I think. <laughs> Cookie? I need a cheesecake! And pie. Right. Thank you. Oh, that's right. They had the cheesecake here, too, we wanted. Uh, too full for that. Okay, so if I'm still hungry after we eat supper, I'm coming back here for dessert. I want that gin uh, pumpkin gingerbread cheesecake. It's very puffy and very hot too. I'm not sure what the cookie's called, but it's very it's chocolatey. A, it's a chocolate cookie. And there's more powdered sugar. What do you know? This feels very hot. Oh boy. Very crispy too. Very crispy. Open that thing up and let it breathe. I'm trying not to drop it. There's actually not that much filling in here. Oh, really? It's not. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, it's like they barely filled the bottom of, of it with stuff, which is kind of disappointing because it looks bigger than what it actually is. Hmm. How much was this one? It was five something, I think. Okay, so, well, I guess that's not too bad for five something. Yeah, worth. you can tell that it's not I that full. I would not have been happy if it was one of those that was like eight. Eight or nine dollars, yeah. I think it's just vegetables. I don't I don't remember seeing any kind of meat listed with oh, it. Oh really? No meat? I could be wrong, but I see mushrooms in here. Hmm. Mm. Pretty good. And there's jackfruit in there. I'm not sure what that even is, but that's pretty good. Wow, there really is not much in there. You only have one bite? Two bikes and it's like already half gone. Mm. It's good though. Yeah. Who wants a cookie? A chocolate cookie. This thing is heavier than the pie is. Chomp it. Very chocolatey. Loaded with more powdered sugar too. We're we gonna find a cookie here that's not got powdered sugar all over it. So far, I like the Windsor cookie the best. Mm. Chocolate crinkle cookie. Mm. 
I like this one better. It's more like a brownie. Really soft. I like it better because it don't fall apart. It stands up more like a cookie. Again, I think it needs the milk with it. Yeah. Any cookie is better with milk. Very dense. Not dry like the last one was. That's two out of six cookies. So I know I said I wasn't going to get anything else to eat, so that's why I got something to drink. <laughs> cool. Mm. Oh, that's good. It'll be gone in three sips. <laughs> what? No live stream. I'm gonna mix it in. Very small drink for five dollars. I think. Yeah, it is pretty oh, yeah. small. Okay, so the straw's not thick enough for the um the bubba balls. You try? Yeah. That was good. Yeah. I wish I could get the the balls. The balls yeah. Out. Maybe if you just tilt it up from here. Just like, drink it. You just drink it without yeah, the straw. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's try it this way. No straw. Mm. Very fruity. It is fruity. How's this? Good. Is it just raspberry? Um, yeah. They're raspberry. Raspberry boba balls. You can pass them. I'm about to get them out of the cup. How's it going? We're back it up, Cotton. We're pretty hungry. We're here at Chef de France and we're going to have some French cuisine. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, can't wait. It's been way too long since we've been here. It's been several years, at least six years or longer. It's a long time. Yep. Okay, we just got we just got seated at um, Chef de France and placed our order. What you gonna get? I'm getting the escargot and the French onion soup. Now, there might be some people watching who don't know what escargot is. You want to explain? It smells. It smells. <laughs> it is literally. It in a garlic, a garlicky, buttery. I wonder what river they came out of this morning. <laughs> now I'm getting salmon. So it looks like we're starting off with uh, some butter. He brought us some plates. We got a fork for our butter. And uh, so you want to have the butter? Bread. Oh, okay. We got some bread. Oh my. A baguette? How's oh, that bread? I want bread. It's bread. Okay, dinner has arrived. And Heather, oh, oh, that was a good one. Heather's got some escargots there and some French onion soup there. And I got a really big piece of salmon. Looks good, thank you, yeah. What are you going to try first? I'm going to go for the escargot because I'm sure the soup's like really hot. Yeah. Looks like it's got like a. Got pastry around it or something? It's like a little croton on it. So it's not fried. It just looks like it's just something on top of it. Yeah. Oh, these are steaming too. They might be too hot. Slimy, yet satisfying. <laughs> Right? Yeah, they're separate. Mm. 
Those are so good. What does it taste like to you? It tastes like a garlicky, buttery mushroom. It's got the texture of a mushroom. Yeah. A little tougher. Here is the salmon with a lime, no, lemon sauce, I think, and a side of rice. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Mm. It's good. It's definitely got a good lemon flavor. Okay, it's time for soup. Good. This is the very first time, the very first place I ever had French onions. Oh. It was very gooey. It's very chewy. Yes, it is. Look at that pot. Good. That's a lot of cheese. Do it one time. What? You don't want to try my thing? More for me. We're back in the, um, I call this a festival building. I don't really know what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it. We couldn't get on test track because unfortunately it started to rain and they could be closed for an hour. So didn't want to do that. So we're going to get a little bit of dessert and then head on back to the room for the night. But right now, I think I'm going to go with the gingerbread milkshake. Maybe the red velvet mini, mini cake. Mm. I don't know, I want, I want literally everything on this menu. Yeah, I do too. But I don't need all that right now. I know. What are snowball cookies? I don't want, I don't think I want snowball cookies or peppermint bark. And fruit cake? I don't know. There's pictures stuff oh. over here. Pictures help. Pictures help. Okay, I, I don't I wanna, want. I want to try the snowball cookies. I don't, I don't want either one of those. I want that. That, that, yeah, those three things about what I want. I would try the fruit cake. Um, yeah, let's see. I think I'm a, hmm. I don't know. What should I get? Um, well, we yeah. definitely want to try that cook, the spaceship earth cookie, right? Yeah, definitely. So let's and get the, the red velvet cake and I'll the spaceship earth cookie. And I want the gingerbread milkshake. Is that too much right now? No. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it is if you want to go to sleep soon, but... <laughs> I never sleep. Look, I never sleep. Good. Red velvet cake. And a spaceship or a cookie. How are we going to carry all this? Mmm. Follow the cake. <laughs> we got... Spaceship or cookie. Red velvet cake. And... Gingerbread milkshake. And no forks. And no forks. <laughs> Let me fix that. I want to eat everything while she's gone. Hello. Alright, now we can dine properly with a fork. What are you going to try first? Um, the milkshake. Little gingerbread man. 
They came with a gingerbread man? Mm-hmm. That's a good gingerbread man. Does he have gumdrop buttons? Not this one. Yeah. He's not a real gingerbread man. Mm. Good? That's very, very good. That other half of the gingerbread man is yours. Hmm. Cool, you left me the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. Tastes like Christmas. Definitely tastes like Christmas. It's a very strong, well, not too strong in the gingerbread. No, I wouldn't but say it's strong. It's perfect. It's um, very cold. Yeah. It's you want to throw that in? Huh? You want to throw that in? Yeah. Good, because I already fine. <laughs> All right. I'm going for red velvet cake. Hmm. Let me get over here where you have to see. Red velvet bunt cake. Oh man. So good. Oh, very dense. You don't like red velvet cake, right? Yes, I do. You sure? I thought you hated Revelle You cake. better share with me. Hmm. You better share. <laughs> you can have a sprinkle. <laughs> I can have a sprinkle? Yeah. That's not quite fair, is it? Camera we're, adjustments. We're vlogging and streaming at the same yeah. time. I don't know which camera to look at. So, the people who watch the vlog get a behind the scenes <laughs> of a live stream. Yeah. And the people watching the live stream get a live, or get a um, behind the scenes of how a vlog works. Yeah. Good stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. Got some more milkshake. It's very moist. It's got a lot of cream cheese. Does it even have it down the middle? See? Mmm. Sure do. Man, that's a good milkshake. It's not really it's not a milkshake. It's I a it's um again. it's more For like sure. a slush. I know, like a creamy slush. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any ice cream in it. It's gotta be ice cream to be a milkshake, right? I think it's just like a frozen gingerbread thing. I don't know. I wouldn't think it, I wouldn't call it a milkshake. I'm gonna eat the <laughs> spaceship bird cookie though. His descriptions are hilarious sometimes. Well, I'm just saying what it is. Uh, yeah, no pressure. They're watching us eat. Yeah, no, we're fine. doing that on purpose, it's fine. <laughs> All right, spaceship bird cookie. Oh, wait, you want me to get you? This thing looks toxic. <laughs> Look at all those silver, <laughs> silver sprinkles. It's like sugar. That's sugar? It's, I think it's sugar. It's very hard. It's like rock candy. You're going to break my teeth. This is a straight up sugar cookie. There's nothing in it? No. It looks like a double layer cookie. And I did not get pictures oh, yeah, of any of this. It. More sugar cookie. I didn't get any pictures. I'm getting that one. Oh well. Okay, I think there's chocolate in it. But the chocolate mm. tastes like sugar cookie. Yeah, you can see it in there. You gotta wash that thing down. It's very dry. I'm glad I went ahead and got the milkshake with this. It goes good with these dishes. Right, wanna try some cookie? Yeah, I do. Let me handle this. Okay, spaceship or cookie time. Yeah. It's very messy. Yeah, not really. Well, the sugar is just kind of falls <laughs> Oh, apart. yeah, that, okay. Yeah. It's good. We better dip in milk, like all the cookies we've had today. It would be better with milk. Do you even taste the chocolate, though? I didn't. It's like a chocolate cookie on top and a regular one on the bottom. It's not really a chocolate feeling. Oh. That's an actual cookie. 
It's just a brown sugar cookie. I don't huh. taste chocolate. Anyway, we got some more red apple cake here. It's okay. Yeah, just okay. I wouldn't get that again. I would definitely suggest the red velvet and the milkshake. Yeah. I might dip this cookie in the milkshake. Do it. It's more of a slush, really. A gingerbread slush. Oh, man, poo. Just break it. There you go. Did you fix it? Is that how it's done? Yeah, that's how it's done. Let me try. Okay. Dunkaroos. No. It's still a sugar cookie. <laughs> no matter what you do to it, that's all it is. Where's that oh, did head? you want more red oak cake? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can finish that. I'm done with it. I'm done with that. But I'm not done with this. Just save me enough to have a little sip after I eat this stuff. Will do. Now I need something savory. Mm -mm. No more food for me for yeah. the rest of the day. Pretty full. What we got food wise tomorrow? Anything awesome? Nothing planned because I couldn't get reservations for Hollywood and Vine. Oh, that's right. We can try the wait, wait list. I'm going to try the wait list. 